All right, good morning, um, Mr. and Mrs. Magoon. This is Corwin Millett out here at um, 933 um, Shane. Um, the entrance to the property, and you can see the cars going by down the road down there, uh, that's actually Highway 17A. So we're roughly about uh, five to six miles outside of Monk's Corner. Um, so kind of reminiscent of the drive coming from um, Cordsville to the other property, the last property that we met at um, before um, you guys left. Um, the access in here is a, um, a dirt gravel lane. Um, the property is maintained. This sign actually right here um, notes where the county maintained portion of the road stops. So the county maintains um, this portion of the road coming here. We have, a, have some drainage that runs down. Um, both sides of the road. Um, you'll notice that house there is actually appears to be a, a, a modular home there. Um, you do have some other manufactured homes up here in the front and the adjacent property to it is also um, a, a, a manufactured home as well. Um, you have a marker here on um, your property line for this property begins here. So the home is actually here. Um, faces out across and obviously my car is going to be in the picture here um, But the property expands again. There's two lots um, Looks like they've marked off um, where the house is as far as one portion of the of the property and then the land runs back over in this way um, into um, into the woods um, Approximately um, eight acres and some change back this way and then the house um, sits on the other acre um, and change. You have your well house um, here. Um, this actually is a uh, seems to be the the dirt drive or drive um, access that um, where you probably would park at um, that I'm walking in on. The home appears to have a newer roof. Um, also appears to have newer windows, as you can tell from the outside here. Um, there is a pond over here um, on the property and um, looks like a, a gazebo that sits out over here to overlook overlook it as well matter of fact the pond as it appears expands wraps around this direction and then goes back um, over here. I don't believe we've spoken about whether or not that's something that you had interest in, would have interest in or not, but you can see that it expands or, or circles back around here. So you clean this up. Summertime, I would imagine it's a very nice view. Um, I can see on the other side, some clearing there on the other side of the pond, um, some clearing and stuff back over on this side. Um, looks like um, possibly some type of trail or drive. Have a swing here. You have your shed here. See they have a tractor and some other miscellaneous items that are stored um, out here. As well. So this is that potential shop area that may or may not work for you. Um, Sandy, and let's um, see if we have a key to this door. There's a sink out front here. Appears to be functional. And we do have a key to this door. This area has a wood burning stove here. Um, actually, it appears they put in, I'll call it a junior kitchen, um, small electric range. Um, there's a window unit there you can see through, so obviously the mechanics of the unit are out of the storage and stuff here. You have concrete floor there, and then some other storage out this general direction. We'll take a view out of the back of the property and you can see the tree and wood line there. Go back towards the 
main house now. Actually is a pump out here in the yard. Obviously don't know for sure if it does work, but I would actually be surprised if it didn't. Home has a wraparound porch. Actually, you can see that we have fencing here that runs back over here. It appears it ends back over this way somewhere, roughly about um, towards the edge of where the pond is, it appears. We'll take a look around on the exterior. You have brick. Don't see any cracking or anything. This evident. You have a, supposed to be a gas line that runs in here. Um, so when we go inside, we'll see. I'm assuming that the hot um the fireplace has probably been converted to gas you'll also notice again your porch here plenty of lighting also in your ceiling very wide porch so plenty of space for entertaining on the exterior of the home we're gonna work on going inside now and I'm gonna take a pause here and then pick you back up all right guys here's a view from the inside of the front foyer again you have ceramic tile entry blue carpet that's a view that goes straight out the back into the what I call the backyard again the home sits um, facing towards the rear of the lot. To the left, you have a family room um, area here, fireplace, door goes out onto the porch, closet here, closet there. On the opposite side, you have the kitchen, which we'll show in a moment, and another bedroom and bath. Um, the master bedroom is on this side. Um, it is also features a door that leads out into the onto the porch wide swing two closets here um so his and hers but, but with the wide swing doors and then your bathroom here bathroom features a uh, dual vanity commode tub with shower as well as a separate stand-up shower here um which seems a bit odd home also has carpet um in this area as well and the laundry room is located on this side as well Home appears to have been set up possibly for some type of residential facility or other purpose or use. Um, don't know if it was um, meant to be primarily a, a residence, um, a, a, a home for individual or, or whether there was other people or um, here, maybe a roommate situation. You have your dining area here. This is your kitchen here. Notice that the workspace is, is rather crammed, but also on the opposite side, you have cabinets along with a um, sink on the opposite side. And this door here leads into your garage. You have a two car garage, you have storage and hot water heater down here. House has a brick wall here I'm assuming at some point in time there's probably some idea to either make this into a bar countertop or, or something um, haven't quite figured that out at least not just yet but again this is your workspace for your, your kitchen so I would imagine there may be some reconfiguring you may want to do secondary bedroom here large size you have a closet back here short walk-in and then your other common area bath is on this side and this bathroom features a sink a commode and stand up shower there you'll notice again this area as well um, has been carpeted with 
for some reason. Um, again, I think at some point in time, this may have been um, some type of residential or, or some some type of home or place they use maybe for, for meetings or something of that nature. Going out back, this is a door that leads into that laundry area that leads into the bedroom um, over to the left. This is a back stoop, HVAC unit. And then you'll have a view, I'll have a view of the yard here. And you notice your neighbor, the manufactured home that we spoke about um, a little bit earlier. There is a, ga a gas bottle located in the bushes back over this way. Um, it's back against the house, but rather difficult to see. But um, that's the gas line that runs into the fireplace. Um, we pointed that out a little earlier. That is a gas log fireplace over here. So you do have gas logs um, versus a wood burning here. Um, did not note any staining or any issues um, in the ceiling that I could tell. It appears the roof on the property is um, fairly new as well. So trustfully there aren't any issues or problems um, there. Again, this home, as it appears, as far as its um, layout is ideal for entertaining. Um, plenty of space, spend a lot of time outdoors, things of that nature. It is obviously rather quiet here, sitting on the porch. Um, you don't have the traffic or don't hear the traffic as much going by um, because obviously you're facing um, over into the woods or the woodland area of the property. Um, any questions, obviously let me know. And um, we look forward to hearing back from you.